How you doing? Chris Haskell, reporter for Real News Tucson here. And uh, today is 12-22-18. Here's a toxic sunset. A wildly toxic sunset. By the way, that is not normal. We, Since I was a child here in Tucson for, uh, what's that, 50 years, well, yeah, we did have beautiful sunsets, but now... When they look like this, this is no question a toxic sunset. And uh, another thing I want to mention is that I understand you're, now I'm going to have to do my chemtrail videos, or excuse me, the contrail videos, <laughs> you know, for that thing down there, the uh, dictionary or the Encyclopedia Britannica lies, right, right down there, yeah, lies, it says, Contrail, his account uploads contrails, yeah, bunch of crap. Anyway, what I'm going to do since the adult probation department is now in charge of whether I can upload or not upload, because they have to check them first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do continued week-long chemtrails videos where I show you all of it in one time to save my friends down there at the probation department time and effort so they and chances are they're not gonna approve my videos for quite some time so I don't know we'll give it a go but uh, here we are Tucson Arizona being poisoned by the air the environmental hazard done by our own government unless you have any purpose to believe it's anyone else uh, it's definitely our government because you think somebody like, you know, let's say by me, let's say I went up in an airplane and started pouring all this toxic garbage into the air we're going to breathe. You think that they'd have the military on me like real fast? Yeah, they would. Uh, they would. They'd have like F-16s and you name it over next to me going, hey, take it down. We're going to take that. Come on. F -C we're going to give you an escort. Go ahead and land your plane. Let's just say I put underwear. Let's take a whole bunch of underwear and dump it out of a plane. I think it would take less than two minutes till we'd have F-16s or God knows what kind of jet next to us going, take it down, let's go, follow me in. And they'd uh, make sure that we stopped. But if it's our government spraying the life out of us, then hey, no problems. They're okay with it. Matter of fact, these guys drive around in the air, fly around with no transponders. That's at least what I've heard. I don't know, because I'm not a uh, uh, stratospheric geoengineering pilot. If you were a stratospheric geoengineering pilot, you would know whether or not that they, uh, you know, give you hell. But I'm pretty sure they don't. They don't give them any hell, and whether or not you have a transponder on. Uh, but I'll tell you one thing is there has been a lot of people come out and say, you know, like UPS planes, where this big old plane comes flying right at them. No transponder. They're like, hello, uh, base, uh, controllers, uh, there's a guy coming right at me. Go ahead and go up another thousand feet. No, I already did, thank you, because that guy was about ready to ram into me. Oh, my God, here comes another one. Watch the video, and then the guy is, he, I think he's UPS or something like that. And he's like, uh, there's another one. Can you tell me, please, when airplanes are going to fucking ram into me? You know? Yeah, because they allow uh, chemtrail planes. Oh, I'm sorry. Stratospheric geoengineering planes. They allow them to drive around, fly around. I'm so sorry. Fly around with no transponders. At least that's what I hear. And that is illegal as heck. They would not allow any private people to fly around with an airplane without a transponder. No, doesn't happen. They're real strict about it. So here we are. Real News Tucson reporter, Chris Haskell. This might go on to another video. Have a good day. Here we are, Sunday, December 23rd, 2018. Here in Tucson, Arizona. Got the criminals spraying us again. Toxic friggin' waste being dumped out of airplanes once again. And on we go. K-2.
Cam Trail Report. Reporter, Chris Haskell. Look at the rest of the skies. Completely clear. Got nothing going on in the rest of them. And we have toxic waste due north. You can see actually, instead of being a clear blue sky, it is a got a hiss misty haze. So anyway, here's the trails. Line after line. Down by airplane. On with the next day. And here we are, same day, just in the evening. And they've been basically, not real bad, but spraying on and off, on and off all day. See all the straight lines in the, in the sky. Kind of like this right here. Yeah, exactly like that, now that I mention it. Yeah, so anyway. We've got the mist in the air. Look at this. Wow, look at those shadows. Pretty weird, huh? Huh. Interesting. And straight lines over here still. They've been working it all day over the Catalinas. I'll show you that. Yeah, look at that. It's toxic geoengineering, no question about that. Okay, look at all the mist in the air. Almost looks like, a, huh, what we got, two suns or something? Anyway, back around, here's the, oh, such a beautiful sunset. Yeah, right, toxic sunset, once again. And we'll go ahead and after this one, continue on to the next day. And here we are, Christmas Eve, obvious, toxic, stratospheric geoengineering in our sky once again. The psychopaths that think that it's okay to put powdered aluminum, nanoparticulates, a little smaller than powdered aluminum, into our air so we can breathe it in, so we can have some toxic waste in our body, in our air, in our food, our lungs, immediately into our brain, yeah, all the people can understand, but their short-term memory, yeah, you go, oh, what was that? I can't remember. Oh, it's right on the tip of my tongue. I can't remember. Yep, that's the one of the first. So at least what the neurologists say, the first effect you're going to notice when you get toxically poisoned like this. So here we are, 24th of December, 2018, our Christmas Eve present. There it is, toxic waste in our air. Have a great day. There's my Christmas present. My hibiscus plant is doing well. That one's not doing too bad. And I'm gonna share with you Christmas day here in Tucson. And here is our toxic poison. Well, unfortunately, the geoengineering pilots did not get a day off because look what they were doing last night. Isn't that special? Oh, that's so special. Yes, they wanted to have it all ready for us when we wake up. Santa Claus was working it last night. Yes, sirree. Look at this. Yeah. Oh, that's right. It could be clouds. What are you thinking? What are you thinking, you know, you guys that are approving my video? What do you think? Is that, is that clouds? Oh, it must be. Of course. That could not be stratospheric solar geoengineering. Because if that were the case, then that would be a population control. Yeah, well, hate to tell you, that is the case. Well, even though they have a whole bunch of patents on it from the government of the United States, yeah, they, right, they never put population control. No population control listed. But, what do you think? Does that look like a cloud to you? Well, use your own mind. I hope you're more intelligent than like a five-year-old or something. Because 
I, I don't know. I'm thinking a five-year-old might even be able to figure this out. All right. Merry Christmas to you. Happy holidays. And I'm going to wrap up this video, I do believe. And then it should be approved by, what, a week or two from now <laughs> by my probation department. All right. Y'all have a nice day. Chris Haskell out. And uh, if you're curious, yeah, they're... They're just going times 10 right now. They want me to fail. Every possible way you can think of. Christmas Eve, I got accused. They said when I was got permission to go to the bank, they said I wasn't there when I was there. They said, well, the vehicle wasn't there, but yeah, well, I got dropped off. I'm so sorry. So, and but hey, at least they did a breathalyzer on me while I was talking to an agent at Chase Bank, <laughs> they walked me out and breathalyzed me. That is, you know, they care. They really care about me. You think? Hey, you ought to see, I, on my chest I got a whole row of medals, basically, in my mind. That's what that means, I'm very special. Yes, they want me to fail. Well, sorry, didn't do it, ain't gonna do it. I'm gonna get off this crap that you got me on. Yeah, the probation didn't put me on it, but they're doing their job attempting to get me to fail. Shut me down. Not sending the message out to the world. Well, still happening. Sorry. Have a good day. Merry Christmas to y'all. And, uh, you know, if anyone here, if you got a ton of money and it's burning a hole in your pocket, I could always use something, but other than that, Send some to the California folks that have lost their homes. Total murder they've done to these people. Anyway, let me know. And I couldn't resist but to do this last one because they have just been working it apparently all night. Really hard. Well, wow. just unbelievable Tucson skies. Look at this. Look at this. So, toxic poison for all the people out at Christmas Day. Unbelievable. Just toxic poison. All right. Merry Christmas. Have a great day. They were definitely working it. I guess the stratospheric geoengineering pilots they don't get the day off no they do not working it all night they were real news tucson reporter chris haskell and look at this the end of the day for christmas for us here in tucson we got a little house cleaning done mother nature Come along with some winds, blew away all the chemtrails, and take a look at this. I do believe, now, don't quote me on it for sure, but I believe these are clouds. Wow. Imagine this, I want to show you this. It's windy over here, so I won't be able to talk. Look at that. Mother Nature working her dreams. Wow. Look at this. So there's some clouds, folks. Actual clouds. I do believe. Maybe a little mix in there, but... Isn't that special? For me it is. So Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to everyone. I'm sure you're going to see this about two weeks later when my probation department gets around to it. But here we are, Tucson, Arizona. Mother Nature at work. And now I mean it when I say have a great day. Real News Tucson reporter, Chris Haskell.